guys, Jonah here, back again with another unboxing. I told you there'd be some extra unboxing uh, this month. Um, this one is part of a Black Friday deal I got from Vocation. And as you well know, Vocation is, uh, yeah, one of my favourite breweries. Mainly, well, they do do good beers, so I wouldn't do it if they were rubbish beers. But mainly, they were my, um, my best friend's... Um, favourite brewery, as some of you know, if you've uh, watched other things on this channel. If you're new to the channel, please think about subscribing, click like down below, all that kind of jazz. It really does help me out. Um, and basically, yeah, hopefully the reviews will get good as well. Look at this bad boy. I'm not, I know there's a box set within this box, but there should be some other beers in there too. We'll see what we get. Got my trusty knife. Um, which is doing really well. I mean, this was four, five quid maybe from one of the cheapest shops in the land. And I put a, a little uh, thing on here. Obviously, it's a Swiss Army knife, but it's by Rolson. Uh, there you go, Rolson. It's got all the. Uh, all the bits and bobs that you could possibly need. And it's got a scissors on here, which I think is really good on a Swiss Army knife. It makes sense. Right, so, wow. Okay, so this is a bit a bit ridiculous, the way <laughs> this is. I don't know if you can see, yeah, of course you can. There's a honeycomb thing here. And then the box of beers that I was talking about is here. And I might do a separate uh, unboxing video on this box, but I will show you what it is. From Hebden Bridge to your fridge. Uh, it doesn't actually say, but this is their Christmas version. So I'm going to do a special unboxing video on this. Um, and this is going to be part of my... Um, well, I haven't quite decided whether it's going to be an Advent beer. I don't think I've got enough beers to do an Advent box purely from this, although it's a massive box, isn't it? But um, it's definitely going to be the 12 beers of Christmas type thing. Um, I'm pretty sure there are five, five beers or perhaps six beers in it. I think it's five. Um, and they're all reasonably strong beers and they are Christmas themed beers. So this is going to be part of my Christmas review section for uh, <laughs> for December. Let's put that bad boy up here for now. There we go. Is that all? Oh, I'm going to put it there anyway. Can't quite see it, can you? There we go. Something like that. From Hebden Bridge to your fridge. I always think that's kind of cool. But that will be for another day. So, what have we got in here? A lot of these, I don't know if you guys saw uh, the Black Friday stuff from Vocation, but a lot of these are kind of uh, one-off beers, uh, special editions, that type of thing. Some of them aren't, but a lot of them are. Right. <laughs> okay, so first one is, even says it up there, special edition. This is called Solstice. It's a hazy IPA. I think they probably brewed it for summer solstice, but I think it would be nice to have this beer and do the review on winter solstice. So that's a cool idea. That was a spur of the moment idea. I have them sometimes, dear viewer. Okay. This one is again a special edition, part of um, the border hopping uh, series. Uh, and this one's the USA one, hence USA, uh, pale ale, but it's 5%, so pretty cool. Oh, and the other good thing is all of these uh, cans, 440 cans, because um, Beer 52 used to give you the occasional 440, but most of the time these days they're 330 cans. So. Getting a box with bigger cans, it makes sense. 
And I've got free uh, free shipping as well on this, on this one. Part of my deal. Well, these are a bit tricky to get out. Ah, this is from another series, but this is a special edition one. Uh, this is called Nightcap. Uh, this is a Earl Grey tea and lavender pale ale. How ridiculous does that sound? Uh, and that's 4.4%. These ones are connected to certain, certain places in the country. I can't quite see exactly where that is, but yeah, that's what that special edition series is about. It's a shame because theoretically I should have bought the whole set and done a review on the whole set, but hey, when there's a sale on, you, you can only get what's available, can't you? If I had lots of money, dear viewer, maybe I should do a Patreon. I don't think anyone would give me that much money, but if I had one, I would buy all complete sets and do things. In fact, if I was, if I was rich and famous, they would probably be giving me the beers for free. Alas, they don't, I have to buy these, so, that's why things are a little bit sketchy, but still going to be good beer reviews, especially if you're there. So make sure you subscribe. Right. Whoa. Getting really. These ones are getting incredibly tight, so well packed. So that's a good sign. Ah, yes, this one is completely ridiculous. Uh, this is a. Chocolate and chili stout made with mole pablono. That's the name of this this chili um, that they used in there. Absolutely ridiculous. But look at that. Eight and a half, uh, sorry, eleven and a half percent ABV. Ridiculous stouts. Now, if you followed the channel for a while, you'll know um, I love strong vocation stouts. I think my beer of the year in 20, I guess it would have been 22. No, was it last year? No, it was the year before, 21. My beer of the year was the Banana Imperial Stout. Absolutely ridiculous. It was just, whoa, mega. Imperial Banana or something like that. Very, very nice. Aha. Here is another special edition beer. You can see the picture is somewhat similar, but this one is made in Manchester. So this one's all about Manchester kind of theme. Um, this one's 5%. And this is a grape, raspberry and blackcurrant sour beer. Absolutely nuts. Some of these are a bit out there. <laughs> let, me, let me just say. Not just the strength, but the actual beers. Some of them are ridiculous. Ah! Dare I say, I've definitely tried this one before. Life and Death IPA in a 440 can, 6.5%. This is the beer that my friend, uh, basically, this was his favorite beer. So <clears throat> gonna drink that on a, a certain day. Um, over Christmas just to yeah just to tell him up there I'm still thinking about him but I'm definitely going to be reviewing that one I did that last year as well actually okay this is another special edition beer uh, this is called uh, Tacoma or Tahoma um, double uh, double IPA 8% ABV. Come on. You've probably seen the Aurora one. That's more commonly available. You can pick that up in the supermarkets and stuff. This is from the same kind of series uh, as that one. Um, slightly different hop. But 8% IPA. Happy days. Oh getting there. You've got to have one of these. Double coconut macaroon. This is part of the naughty but nice. I, I'm not 100% sure if I've had this before, but I think it was a really nice beer. 
Uh, this one's only 6%. But coconut macaroon? Come on. And it's a stout, which is a, a good thing, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, where's the other stout from? Back there. And then the last one. Yep, there is another one. Boom. Is another part of that series. I think there were four bits, so I've got three out of four. That's not too bad. Uh, and this one's called Big Daddy, 6.5% uh, um, IPA again. This is Galaxy Simcoe Mosaic, and this is Halifax. So, again, a city up north, Halifax. That's going to be quite cool. And that, dear friends, is everything. So, look out for um, the unboxing video I'm going to do especially for those beers. Um, like I say, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head how many. I think it's, it's either five or six. I think it's five. Um, there's a special glass in there, probably some stickers and all sorts of weird stuff in there. But that is my vocation haul. So say there's five beers in there. Um, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 beers. Um, that is not too bad from vocation with free delivery for Black Friday. Fantastic. Life is good, dear viewers. We will see you real soon for a review of all of this lot. <laughs> take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And why not drink some beer? It's almost Christmas time. Uh, we're almost into December, so you know it makes sense. Okay, take care. Shamal.